There's been a lot of allegations out there all throughout YouTube. So many people putting out videos talking about Jeffree Star's boyfriend has been cheating on him and they've broken up. I don't know the truth. I don't know what's going on. I didn't even get to watch those videos and to see in detail what the hell they're talking about. But I'm very curious. So we're gonna get to the bottom of this. Jeffree Star came out with a video called We Broke Up. I'm thinking these allegations are true. And in the thumbnail, she's crying and she's got her dog there with her. Well, I know that the relationship is different from most. I do know that they do threesomes, orgies, so on and so forth. They're very open sexually. But I believe they do these things together. I don't know if they have an open relationship to where one can do their own thing and the other can do theirs and then they come back together. I don't know if that's the case. So something happened. Before I even start to watch the video, um, I do have an opinion about their relationship. I thought they were cute together. I believe that they are truly in love with each other. Um, but I do realize that Jeffrey is the breadwinner. And Nate, he stays at home with all the dogs, takes care of home, takes care of whatever he's got to take care of. But I don't see Nate doing too much other than that. But then again, we're not living with them daily. So we don't know what, their, what his contributions are in the relationship. But other than that, I have nothing bad to say about Nate. I believe that he's been Jeffrey's number one supporter in everything that he does. I believe he's a good guy. I believe Jeffrey's a good person as well. So it's unfortunate, but I think they might've broken up. That's what the title says, so let's go ahead and watch this video. They just moved into their house. Oh man, this is sad. Luckily, I'm off work today, so the second I saw the notification, ooh, I'm like, ooh, it's time to react. Hey guys, um, I don't even know how to do this intro. I never thought the day would come where I'd be sitting here talking about this. Um, We've tried to film this 10 times now, um, and I've cried every single time, and we are a few weeks of me and Nathan no longer being together, and I don't even know where to begin. Uh, it's been a few weeks, so this didn't just happen. We, I'm thinking it was days. Oh, shit. So they've been hiding this this whole time. Um, there's no easy way to say this, but we did break up. Wow. Um, I've used a lot of this time of silence to just try heal. to heal. Mm -hmm. You know, we're both in a state of shock. I'm devastated. I'm so sad. And the love of my life is no longer... Wait, like I don't, I don't wake up to him anymore. Wow. He's no longer here every morning. And my routines have changed, and I'm just in a state of shock right now, we both are. Um, but I really wanted to take some time for myself. I was really emotional. There were so many things happening in my head and you know, this isn't like an internet fight. This isn't drama, this isn't tea. This is my real life and me and my soulmate are really going through it and we're both, <sighs> We've both been through so much the last few years. So oh, I can imagine. I know a lot of you are really shocked. I'm I am. Shocked and I'm very I shocked. I feel like I owe you all an explanation because Nathan and I have grown with each other in front of all of you. And I, I can't believe he's not here right now. Um, but I do want to share what's been going on. And I do want to talk to you guys. First of all, I know I've been radio silent on social media. I just want to say thank you to every single person that has sent me well wishes, not knowing what's going on. Now, the internet is brutal. And I've learned mm -hmm. a lot from not being on my phone um, the last few weeks. Um, this, this is hard to say. My soulmate is no longer with me. And... <laughs> he was gonna say my soulmate is no longer here as if he passed away but he corrected himself it's been so hard the last thing I ever wanted to do was sit on camera but 
me and him have filmed so many videos together. We've traveled the world together. I, and I just want to put this on record that Nathan is the only man that I've ever been in love with. And I know he's not here today. I but believe he that. He wanted to say hi and send his love to everyone. Um, it's been difficult because Nathan never wanted to be in the spotlight, right? We fell for each other when we met, and we fell for each other so hard. And I'm grateful for him, and I'll be grateful until the day I die because this. And it's interesting because Nate actually put took down all of his social media just like a month ago. So maybe this was part of the process of their breakup. And it, it, Nate never was really in front of the camera. He, I think he was more of a private person. How can you, but how can you be so private being with someone who is such a big influencer who's out there in public all the time, very open? So I believe in opposites attracting and being successful. At the same time, these are straight up bipolar opposites where they literally want to live two different kind of lifestyles. That's what I believe. But I do believe that they were truly in love, which is sad to see. This was the only man that was ever confident enough to love me publicly, mm. to love me for me fully, all my flaws, no makeup waking up in bed, to full on, like, you know what I mean? Like he never cared about any of it and he just loved me for me. And, and you no can see man that. As ever had those feelings I don't think for me and I've never loved someone like I've loved him and I've talked about this before but people used to always keep me the secret 10 years ago you guys it was not how it is today there was so many people afraid there was dudes that would be in love with me but they were afraid what their families would say or people in their lives and I would always get shut out and shut down and when Nathan entered my life I was jaded, I was angry, um, I was just starting my company and I was on a whole new journey and life, God, whatever you guys want to call it or believe in out there, put him in my life for a reason. And 100%. Even if things don't last, every person that comes into your life is for a reason. To make you a better person in some way. It's, it, and it's up to you to take that opportunity to become that better person. And Nate was the person for her. And he changed me. He changed me for the better. And that's why I'm so appreciative of him. Because he showed me how to love myself. He showed me how to love people in my life better just for loving me for who I am and I had never had that before I was always the secret and he changed my world so the fact that we're no longer together I know it's really shocking to a lot of you um I want to say thank you to every oh, single bless you, person that's doggy. reached out I checked social media here and there but it was really rough and I gotta say that it's been insane people trying to get information, okay? Like, th this sounds so horrible, but imagine if you're breaking up with someone. Anyone out there watching this, if you've lost the love of your life, if you've broken up with someone, if you've had a divorce, if you've had a nasty breakup, if you've had a calm, normal breakup, but you lost someone that you were really in love with, then you know what I'm going through. I do want to say that um, my mother is okay right now, but there was a fake story that she passed away and my mom's calling me like, what the hell? Imagine your own mother wakes up to see a news article that she's not no longer with us. <laughs> That's crazy. I... The internet is a scary world and a lot of people shouldn't be involved in it because they're, those are negative, horrible, malicious people that really try to ruin other people's lives and this is not what the internet's for you guys but unfortunately we have no control over that uh, on top of going through this stuff with nathan my mom is okay but she's not great right she's she lives in this um 
beautiful home now. So happy that a lot of my family are with me and I'm gonna spend every day with her um, until it's her last. So I don't know what is gonna happen with my mom this year. It's very touch and go. She's okay right now, but um, it was scary to see people just make stuff up. Um, also my grandmother, okay, 102 years old. Whew. Um, Grandma Mary's not doing well at all and I need to see her soon before it's too late so there's already all that stuff going on um, and then oh this next part really kills me to say but we've had family try to reach out to the media to make money off of me and Nathan's breakup I don't even know how to process that Family can be your worst enemy. Just because you're blood related to someone does not mean that it's healthy for them to be in your lives. If they're constantly creating trauma, stress, negative energy in your life, they're toxic people. You can love them from afar. Some family members are not to be trusted. Just because their family does not make them any more or less human than a stranger. But it's more hurtful and it affects a person a lot more when it's coming from a family member. Because this family member you've known since, you, since the day you were born or since that person was born. But they're the ones that would hurt you the most. And it's so sad that his family, Jeffrey's family, is using his heartbreak and his life situation to try to make money off it. Who does that? If you really love and care about somebody, you don't try to cause more harm. We're over here heartbroken. It's crazy. Dealing with our emotions, dealing with things Selfish, you know? off camera. And there's family trying to tell the media fake stories, get money out of it. There's people that I haven't spoken to in years, even before meeting Nathan, that are trying to talk about us. How can you talk about someone you've never met? It's been a lot, so I want to say this. It's 2020, okay? We're going to start things off fresh. Um, I'm starting this year off alone, and I can't even believe I'm saying that. I'm so devastated, but I'm strong, and you guys know that me and Nate have been through so much together, and there's no crazy gossip. There's no tea. Um, this is actually really important, and I don't think that enough celebrities, influencers, people with a platform talk about, and that's mental health. A few years ago, Nathan lost his grandfather in a very tragic way. You guys know that me and Nathan, um, we lost two dogs last year. And we lost Diamond on the 5th in the summer and Daddy on October 6th. So. This week has been horrible. The fifth and the sixth are always really, really tough for us. And Daddy only passed away three months ago. Diamond's been seven, eight months. And we still haven't even fully processed that. You know, he hasn't even processed his grandfather. He, we haven't processed our dogs fully because this lifestyle is so crazy. And we're always on to the next thing, filming the next thing. Me and him have never just sat down. Mm -hmm and process our emotions. Mm -hmm. We're both broken. Mm -hmm. And we're, we were both so busy being there for each other that we forgot to be here for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's what 2020 is, is focusing on our own selves. Um, me and Nathan are friends. I feel like I need to say that because I feel like the internet spirals and creates so many false stories. Um, me and Nathan will be friends forever. I will always have love for him. Are we in love with each other? No. Um, oh, no. But we love each other, and he will always be in my life. He... Now, I know a lot of you are like, Jeffrey, you just uploaded a f***ing house tour. And I know a lot of you are like, Nathan seemed kind of off in the videos. You guys, Nathan never loved he, being on camera. You can replay all of yeah. our videos. He loved being behind the scenes. He yeah. never wanted to be famous. He never wanted to be in the spotlight. He never wanted attention, but he loved and believed in everything I was doing and, and was a part of it because I asked him to. So um, he was know, being he supportive. All the social media a month or two ago, and a lot of people wanted. To when you're in a relationship, it doesn't mean you're gonna stop liking the things that you are, that you are interested in and your hobbies and your interests. Everyone is their own person. You can't just automatically have your partner love and live 
the same and think the same way you do. That's humanly impossible. So Jeffrey was doing his thing and so was Nate. To make stuff about, like, you know, stuff up about that, you guys. Imagine not wanting to be famous. I know that's probably shocking to a lot of people. Like, he's in so many videos and he doesn't want to leave his house and have people bother him. And I have to respect that. My life is so public and I think it just got to a breaking, a breaking point. Ugh where it just wasn't, it just wasn't healthy. Now, he is my one and only true love, and when you are watching someone you love go through really harsh things and depression and anxiety and you can't fix it and you want to so bad, it's devastating. So, we both have been really going through it. And he really wanted a breather from all of the social media, and I respected it fully. I mean, you have to tell someone you love, like, no, please stick it out for me. Like, no, like, please, if it's unhealthy, let's, like, remove it. So, <sighs> this wasn't a fake relationship. Also, that was really hard to, for years, you guys, this was a five-year amazing relationship. And five years. I think a lot of it, even if you, so he was never in the spotlight before, and. I've been doing this for so long, so imagine strangers and millions of people are judging. I have really thick skin, I could take a lot, but I think it really wears you down when you're in love with someone and all you hear is, he's with you for the money, he's this, he's that, he's that. He met me when I had nothing. Yeah, I don't think so at all. I don't think he was there for the money at all. You can tell he's a genuine person, he's a good person. If he was there from the very beginning when Jeffrey had nothing, why would the money even matter? Why? And he never changed. And that's what I love the most, is he stayed true to who he was. So yeah. I know there's a lot of questions. Um, our house in Michigan, like you guys, we're good. Our house isn't going anywhere. His family lives there. I visit there a lot. I'm going to go there in a few weeks. Um, you know, Nate came over the other day and visited the dogs and, ugh, oh, it was so beautiful. There's no custody battle. He can come over here whenever <laughs> he wants, you know, and the dogs miss him all. And Jeffrey, when you get into a new relationship, I hope that remains the same. I hope that's still the case because uh, when you get into new relationships, that might be a problem for them. But we'll see what happens. Uh, I miss waking up to him every morning and, um... I think there's a lot of things behind closed doors that people never know and things that we deal with with mental health and today is not about airing out anyone's dirty laundry or making anyone feel um, any type of way. This is just about me sharing what's really been going on and I feel like I owe you guys an explanation and we are just trying to heal. You know, I can't wait to get back to doing what I love and creating and Jeffree Star Cosmetics has so many amazing things to look forward to this year. I am just over, uh, I'm just so excited. Even though I'm so sad, I am ready to get back to work. You know, um, a lot of the times while I was traveling or working or like even on this massive Shane project last year, it was a distraction. And I think when things really died down, me and him got to digest everything and finally have a moment to go, yo, this is our life. This is what's happening. Listen, my, I know my life is insane and you guys have to remember that last year, so much happened in 19 and I know it did for so many of you. It felt like 10 years to, to us. You know, me having the robbery of, of my company last year, millions of dollars of products stolen, it hit me so hard. And then Diamond, nine years of my of my life, my baby. And then all of this crazy drama online happened. And then it's Daddy was taken away from it's us. It's a lot. And, I and please, nobody criticize about the deaths of the dogs because dogs are like family. They're the most, they're actually better than family, let me tell you. They will never turn their back on you when you're feeling a certain way, when you're feeling down. That dog will sense it and will come try to make you feel better. And it's unfortunate that they lost two of their dogs. I'm pretty sure that impacted them in some way. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but my brain has been through so much mm -hmm. that 
I, I haven't had time to heal really. So the last few weeks has just been a lot of self-reflection, a lot of um, just trying to figure out what is next. And I've been so blessed to have so many of my family and friends surrounding me and Shane and Ryland and my mom. And I know a lot of people don't see my family on Snapchat. They don't want to be on Instagram. They don't want to be on camera. Um, you know, and I have to respect that. And to have family and coworkers and people from Killer Merch and JSC just surround me with love um, has just been so special and needed. And right now, Nate is going to go visit some family in Michigan, you guys know. Also, besides the robbery, our dog's passing. Um, only three weeks ago, Nathan's brother, Zach, had a really horrible seizure and almost lost his life. So yeah. we all just need to chill out for a second, focus on our own families and our own mental well-being. I wonder if they should have remained together because it seems like inf infidelity was not the case. Not only if one is going through it, but if both are going through it, that's even harder to deal with. Because when it comes to that, you have to deal with it on your own first. Your mental is the most important and it has to be priority. It has to come first before your partner. If you don't tend to that, people lose their lives for it. And nobody wants that. So you have to allow your partner to take the time to really understand what's going on with them and to try to heal and try to make it better for the sake of themselves and the relationship. We all know Jeffrey's been going through it. Nate has been going through it as well. So maybe if they took this time to just heal on their own and maybe come back when it is the right time, I don't think they should they should have broken up. Oh, it's just a lot to take. And I wonder if they if none of this has happened, I wonder if they would have remained in love. But five years is a lot to just throw away. But maybe they thought about it for a long time. Maybe they think this is the right choice to do. So I, I don't know. I guess we're gonna see what happens later on in their lives. So. Um, thank you if you've made it this far. I really appreciate you guys watching this. I still can't believe I'm sitting here and I didn't just want to sit here and sob on camera. So just thank you guys for listening. We love you so much and I am ready for this new chapter. I think I'm scared. I don't know, but thank you guys for being a part of my life. Um, I want to make you proud this year and there's so many amazing things. Um, in the work so just thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart and from my family's heart for just showing so much love and compassion I know the internet can be very dark sometimes and it's been a really really rough last few weeks so just thank you um, I don't want to leave this video off about me um, I want to leave this video off about a few other people and 2020 is going to be an amazing year for everyone. It's starting off really rough for a lot of us, but um, if you don't know, two of my amazing supporters, subscribers, and fans passed away over the last few weeks. Oh, wow. Um, Kevin Bacon in Flint, Michigan, and Dylan Cook in San Diego, California. Both of them died tragically over the last few weeks, and I just wanted to give love and support to their families and yeah. just know that um you will always be a part of my soul and my heart and i love you guys rest in peace to both of them and that's how i want to end this video you never know how long you're gonna have with someone anyone family friends so let's spend a little bit more time this year maybe being a little bit more compassionate a little bit more loving because the internet has been so so ugly to a lot of us and um there just seems to be more love, so I love you guys so much. I will be, be <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I will be back very soon with makeup oh, videos and a lot of content. You guys know this big fucking house has a lot of work to be mm -hmm. done, and um, I got a lot of support around me. So I'm ready for 2020. I love you, and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Bye, guys. They broke up. It is no longer Jeffree Star and Nate. And you know, it is what it is. That's life, you guys. Just because there's a relationship online, 
celebrities, influencers, does not mean it's gonna be a successful relationship. It's real life, this is real life. Some people last, some people don't, and that's the case right now. So, I mean, I wish them both the best. I, I like Jeffrey, I like Nate. Nate can go ahead and live his private life now, well, as much as he can, he's already well known. And Jeffrey can go ahead and handle his business, you know, like he always has. Good luck to the both of y'all. Let me know what you think about this breakup, comment below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.